Hey guys, what's up? Josh Small, the voice at beautiful McDowell Mountain Park. And right behind me is the Pivot Switchblade. And I wanted to take a few minutes to uh, tell you a little bit about this bike that I'm getting to ride today. Uh, really cool machine, obviously a full suspension bike uh, that is actually, they call it the Switchblade because it can go from a 29 inch wheel to a 27.5 all the way through to 27.5 plus. It's a really, really cool bike. Solid, sturdy uh, with boost spacing front and rear, uh, through axles of course with that. And uh, this one's set up with 29 inch wheels with 2.4 inch tires. And what's great is with this boost spacing, as you can see, even a 2.4 inch tire, I get plenty of clearance on that. Uh, this one's spec'd out with uh, basically full XTR, one by 11. And shifts and runs really smoothly. I took it to the top of T-Bone Ridge and it never ran out of gears. And what I liked about this bike going up the ridge is as I was climbing, it was super stable. I didn't have to worry about balancing. I could focus on just paying attention to what my feet were doing on the pedals to make sure I could find traction. Now, the other thing I really like about this is, as I was coming up the sport loop, um, climbing up through the burner section, is that I was able to lock out the, uh, the, Fox rear, the Fox rear shock and also the front shock, and so it would just climb like a rigid bike. It felt good. It does have the dropper post, but me, I'm not, I'm not used to the dropper post, so I always forget about it, but the bike is stable. It wants you to sit, it wants you to pedal, it wants you to ride, it's comfortable. And, uh, you know, this is it, man. This is it. This is uh, Arizona's best full suspension bike from our friends at Pivot right down the road in Tempe, Arizona. Now, of course, I am a little bit biased. These guys give a lot back to the trail or trail and bicycle community here in Arizona. And, of course, uh, this bike was developed over several years on some of these very trails that I'm riding today. So, you know, but it's a, it's a great trail bike, a lot of fun. I would definitely consider purchasing one of these. Um, only drawback I see is maybe that the water bottle is a little low. I had to reach really far down, but with that, the center of gravity is lowered, and this is the kind of bike where you'd want a hydration pack, um, and maybe you'd have the water bottle just a spare thing of water. So uh, all in all, fantastic bike, great ride. I look forward to riding more, and uh, big thanks to Rage Cycles and Pivot Cycles for putting on the demo.